Hello, my name is Tom Doherty. I'm an attorney. I've been practicing law in Massachusetts since 1995. I've spent hundreds of hours and I've been in every court in the Commonwealth arguing cases before the SJC, the highest court in Massachusetts, the Superior Court, and many, many district courts. One of my specialties is OUI defense, drunk driving defense. If you've been arrested for OUI or drunk driving, OUI liquor or OUI drugs, you need to consult an attorney. I'm that attorney that you should talk to. As I said, I have many years experience in defending the cases and I have an over 80% success rate uh, in those Many of the tests that they're going to try to utilize, an experienced prosecutor will utilize, are the field sobriety tests. Those tests simply, in many instances, will not hold up in court. But it takes an expert like me who knows the area of the law, who knows the testing procedures as required by statute and by their training manual, um, to prove that these, to show that these tests through cross-examination are not going to stand up and will not equal enough evidence to prove you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt before a judge and a jury. For instance, a lot of the tests they'll do is the ABC test, or the, and maybe this happened to you, or the touch the nose test, or the nine step walk and turn test. All of these testing mechanisms, some are utilized, some are not. They all have to be done a specific way with certain stop and starting periods, which many of these officers aren't really familiar with. Many cases involve what we call, all cases involve what we call evidence. And in every case, the Commonwealth, through a prosecutor, has to prove you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. What do we mean by evidence in an OUI case, for instance? Well, the police report that you may have read, and the reason you're looking online right now, attempting to find a lawyer, is because you're afraid. You're afraid to go to court and maybe go to jail, maybe lose your license. In many cases, an OUI, one, will result in a period of loss of a license, and that could be very painful for someone like yourself, or for people that they have to work, they have children, things of that nature. If it's a multiple OUI, you most certainly might be looking at a period of incarceration. That's why you need a lawyer, that's why you need a lawyer like me. But let's talk about the evidence, Massachusetts evidence, which is what we're dealing with here. Evidence is something that needs to be introduced through the judge, before the jury, or in front of a judge, by the district attorney. The evidence that they utilize against you, let's talk about that briefly. The police report is not evidence. So if you're reading this police report, you're scared to death, guess what? The police report doesn't get introduced, the jury never sees it, all they hear is the testimony of the officer subject to cross-examination by me. Okay, and once that is done, that becomes evidence. Testimony is evidence. Sometimes photographs are evidence. Um, sometimes your own testimony is evidence, but not in every case do you have to testify because you don't have to testify. They have to prove you guilty beyond a reasonable doubt, but in many instances, my clients would like to testify and do testify, and with positive results. And of course, there's a lot of preparation that that takes, and preparation by an experienced attorney like me. You just can't go in there by yourself expecting a good result. I've represented people from all walks of life. I've represented attorneys, I've represented moms, I've represented fathers, I've represented laborers, I've represented businessmen, bankers, high school kids, college kids. Many times I find that my clients have just been at the wrong place at the wrong time. Because, and that's evidenced by my 80% success rate. I haven't won every single case because sometimes people really are drunk driving. But just because you're charged in the Commonwealth, you are innocent, you are presumed to be innocent until proven guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. When you go into a courtroom and there's an aggressive prosecutor standing there introducing this evidence against you, you want someone like me who can limit their presentation to the court or to the jury and who can defend you to the utmost of his ability and help you resolve your case so that you can move on with your life and get the nightmare of this wrongful arrest or this arrest behind you so that you can move on with your life. 
So don't take your case to court by yourself, and don't take your case to court with an inexperienced attorney. Call me, 508-509-5912, for a free consultation so we can discuss the facts of your case. Remember, every case is different, and every case needs a tailored approach to defending you. I'm that attorney who can do that, 508-509-5912. And I'll be happy to help you with your problem.